Hey, it's Spence from launchflows.com. Let me show you the power of our thank you component, sometimes known as the last order component. This is a simple component you can put on any page or post. When you do, you can design the entire layout, but this one component or short code gives you a lot of power now to define what people will see. And this makes it possible, for example, if you have a lot of products that you're offering, you don't have to waste time setting up additional custom flows with steps. You can merely create your regular products, have a regular checkout, custom or not, and then one thank you. And as a result of this custom thank you and the parameters, you can now show the person what exactly they need having bought the product. Here's an example. I've got a product here that's a one-time offer. You'll notice that I didn't really have to do much here. I just gave it a title. I put in the main description if there's some things I wanna say in general. But then I made use of the normal WooCommerce product short description. This allows me to custom create instructions for somebody after they bought the product. Now I go and created a custom thank you page just here using one of the available patterns and launch flows. You can use your favorite page builder instead of Gutenberg. And I put in the launch flows thank you short code or the last order component short code. Here, if I just use it out of the box, I get all of the things showing. That includes the order details for each individual product bought. I get the thumbnail, the description, the main description, short description, the price, and you get also the total of the order. Now, any of these features can be turned on and off selectively. So for example, if I don't wanna show the thumbnail or the image, I just say image equals no. When I save that on this particular custom thank you that I could use globally, there won't be any images at all. Or if I don't wanna show the main description, same idea, I can just do description equals no. And now I'm sort of able to curate what somebody will see after buying. I can also eliminate things like the price and so forth. So you get the idea. There's about seven parameters and there's a few that allow us to adjust. So let me show you what this looks like once I remove the price. Okay, if I don't want the dividers, same idea. Dividers equals no. Now you can also style these with CSS if you want, but it's really not necessary because it's gonna pick up the theme styling. Now if I go back here, one of the most important or kind of common uses of this would be something like this. I would probably say image size equals 50. And that way I can make it smaller and it suits maybe the uh, needs that I have based upon what other text I have. Here's the use case. Let's say I have a homepage I wanna sell this. This allows me to go through the entire checkout process and deliver somebody the instructions on what to do next. They can go visit the documentation of this product or a Facebook group, or they can email us. And since this goes along with just this particular product, if I have two or three other products, each of them will have their own custom instructions. So somebody comes to your general thank you page and there's nothing more to do. Everything they need is right here for their next steps. This is Spence. I'll see you in the next video.